Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Kotar 2. Now, we got all of our gear back. I went ahead and got it all equipped and set up. But we haven't gone through the security door, so... We got... Console and... Who are you? Oh, it's Lieutenant Gren. Something I can help you with? How will you recover from the destruction of the Paragus mining facility? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Hmm. Now, there's no need to ask about the Republic increasing funding, so because you know that the corruption right now is not going to let that happen so is there anything that can be done absolutely we need to find a new fuel service sign contracts make agreements a soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing well if I can help I'd like to you you've got enough trouble I think and this is all your fault anyway you still think I'm to blame look it doesn't matter what I think but sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel on their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Yeah, we got that quest. That's cool. Now, what about this console? TSF Communications, User and Password. You know, a random name and password. Access denied. Alrighty. Yeah, oh, our cells. Alrighty. So that's all that then. Now here on the map we've got, this is to the dock module where we go help the Athorians out. But we also haven't been to the cantina yet. We should go and uh, check that out before we get into any other kinds of scraps. Unless we get into a scrap here in the cantina. There's two entrances, we'll go ahead and take this one. Ooh, Gamorians. That's a good way to start. Uh, oh, there are a lot of people to talk to. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. Ah, alright. So some... Well, if our treasury continues to be sapped, projects like this one, Onderon, will be the next dead planet on the outer rim. So, some dissension going on. Let's talk to the people at the bar. Hey, Piggy. The Gamorian ignores you. He might not even speak basic. Well, none of them can speak basic. They can understand it, but they can't emote anything other than... Or they can't speak anything other than their native language. How about you? Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. And who are you? If you're asking me that, beautiful, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Fair enough. Luxa. Nahada, who apparently is not talkative. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? Oh, we are about to get into a scrap. I'm no Jedi. I guess you haven't heard the popular rumors then? Jedi or not, you're the talk of the station. Everyone from the TSF to Zerka Corporation is curious about you. 
And who are you? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the woman alone, Benok. I bet she'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. So, these are syndicate folk. I don't want any trouble. And I doubt you could cause any. Trading jabs Ooh. with Luxa is hardly the entertainment I was looking for. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Thinking I can't cause any trouble. Now I know that's Bazak over there, but give me one sec. Welcome to the entertainment module 081 Cantina. How can I assist you? Luxa said the drinks were on her. What sort of entertainment do you have here? We feature Citadel Station's most talented all bit band around the clock, as well as live Twi'lek dancers. You won't find any holograms here. Casual Pazak players should be able to find a friendly match in the game room. Or, if you're a bit more seasoned, we have daily tournaments with some of the best players in the Outer Rim. Cards too slow for you? Try your hand at Citadel Station's Swoop Track. Oh, Swoop Racing! The all -time records. Last but not least, we feature only the finest cuisine and beverages from Ryloth to Coruscant. Sounds good to me. Uh, sure. Let's check this out first. We've got the Race Master and Mebla Duel. Hey there, care for a game of Pazak? Do you have any cards I could buy? I'm trying to remember how to play the game. Let's go ahead and play first. Sure thing. Just for fun, or shall we lay some credit down? Oh, let's play for fun. Let's have a seat and get to it then. Now, I'm trying to remember what we need to do. I know we have to get to, we have to use these cards. It's kind of like blackjack. We need to get to a certain amount. I think it's 20, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and play. See, these are all the, look at all the cards we don't have. Ten. Um. And turn. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. It's at sixteen. We're at fourteen. Level tr ah, it is twenty. Okay. Cool. And we're at 19, so we're going to use one of our cards in the deck for a plus one. And the set is tied. Holy crap! She's vicious for a friendly game. We both had to use cards to get to 20. I remember this now. I had a lot of fun playing Pazak. There we Natch okay. <laughs> You're not beaten, cheated on. Oh, never mind. No more cards that are useful to her. Seven. She rolled a natural twenty rolled a natural twenty, she drew a natural twenty. Um, we're going to go ahead and stand. We're going to take that loss. I want to save my cards. Twelve against eight. Twelve and thirteen. Won the set. Yeah, she pretty much has no useful cards. So if we just be patient, we've got this in the bag. And we are going to stand with nineteen. Hey! Well done. Care to play again? 
Uh, not at the moment. I'd probably do this off camera. Do you have any cards I could buy? Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the plus ones and the minuses. I remember that. What are the gold ones? This is an advanced POSIC side deck card for use with a POSIC deck. If, or POSIC, if the card changes the sign of all of your twos and fours in play. Oh, okay, I see. Ugh. Interesting. Race Master. I knew it the second you walked in here. It's quite obvious you're a swoop racer. Probably a good one, too. What else could have brought you to Citadel Station but to challenge our track records? Oh, you know, Sith Lords, bad juju, the classics. What's the course like? Because the Citadel track was recently constructed, it's completely state-of-the-art, featuring the most recent advancements in swoop racing. And what are these new advancements? With the recent influx of repulsor lift technology into the swoop racing circuit, our track features vertical challenges, demanding an even higher level of skill and precision from our pilots. Improvements in the construction of bikes, well, should you invest in it, have enabled us to introduce new types of obstacles, making the races even more exciting for the fans. And for the pilots, of course. Of course. Yeah, there's nothing swoop fans like more than seeing a good wreck. Indeed. It's a dangerous sport, no doubt. That's the price of glory, is it not? I'd like to take a practice run? The track's all yours. There's a 20 credit fee and you can run as many times as you want. Persuade, how about you let me run the course for free? Our persuasion's not good, and it's only 20 credits, so... Good racing. Now... I don't know what to do. Alright, it's mouse click. And I'm Oh, okay, I remember this now. Every time this meter um hits whoa red, we have to click the mouse again because that's we shift gears. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but of course one of these things wouldn't be a uh, manual or excuse me, a, an automatic. Had to be a standard. Ooh, this goes fast. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least we didn't blow up. Here we are. And I gotta pay attention to the track as well make sure that we can shift gears in a minute oh two I think a respectable time of 102 10 are you ready to try racing for real now um not at the moment I will probably come back that was fun it was like riding a bike <laughs> quite literally Twi'lek Doton Het. Wonderful sight, isn't it? The best of my dancers, and the best I've seen in many years. And I've come on behalf of Hara. This is who we needed to pay that debt to. And who are you? I am Doton Het, an entrepreneurial businessman here on Citadel Station. I deals in odds and ends. Stuff that Zerka and the Dobo brothers have no interest in. Odds and ends? Indeed. I run a loose business and my stock changes from day to day. Can I look at your inventory? Nothing quite as plebeian as that. I believe Sam Han or Dennis Dobo would be more willing to do business with you. So you're a slave driver pretty much. I've come on behalf of Hara. That one? Huh, <laughs> must be about Ramana then. Fine, give me your proposal. How much do you... Ooh. 
Is there something you want in exchange? I'm a man of many possessions. Inanimate objects, they bring me little joy. But to see the beauty of dance is a rare treat. Credits? If it must be. The currency of the Republic is such a mundane way for businessmen to arrange their deals. But if that's the only way, I'd accept no less than 2,000 credits for it. And we, we heard about that earlier. Yeah, we can try and persuade. How about you wager her on a game of Pazak? Mm. Ah, now that is an interesting suggestion. The situation. Oh, what a setup. Romana lost by her in a Pazak game to be wagered by Dotton in another. I do like the way you think. There's merit to your suggestion. Fine. I'll place Romana as a wager in a Pazak game. Against a wager of 1,000 credits of your own, I think? Ooh. Um. Oh, okay. Excellent. Let us play then. I should have bought some cards. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Alright, um. Let's play? We're just wagering someone's life. No biggie. He stood at 18. 15. 21. Then we play our ne negative 2 card. That's 1. And we just jumped right into the fire, didn't we? Crap. Set is now tied. I've used two of my cards, though. He's only used one. 13, 21, ah, no. Eh. Oh, we hit a 20. That was extremely lucky. It's two, we just need to win one more. But he has three cards, which he just used. Ah. All right, two to one. This is going to come down to the wire. I can taste it. Ooh, he pulled, he drew a 20. Now I'm kind of at the mercy of his cards. Yes! 1918. Well played, Mitra Surik. It was a good set of games, but perhaps not enough to make up for losing Ramada. But I'll keep to my word. Very well. I am sad to see her go, but it's true that it's always best to avoid becoming attached to anything in my line of work. Our business is completed, and I would ask you to depart from here now. Do not hesitate to call upon me if you should have a further exchange. Romana, your period of servitude to me is finished. Your ownership is transferred to this human. Oh, she was one. She's the green Twi'lek. I see. In that case, I humbly submit to your wishes. You can stop dancing now. Stay here, I'll collect your earnings later. I'm taking you back to Hara. Hara? Even after what Hori submitted me to? But it is not my choice. It's yours. Ooh. Um. Yeah, let's go, I guess. Are we heading back to Hara's? We need to figure out what's going on here. Romana! This can't be true. I thought I'd lost you for sure. Don't sound so pleased, Hara. It's not as though you had anything to do with getting me free. Are we in a lover spat? Aren't you at least a little happy to see me? I couldn't care less. If she hadn't asked me to come, I would have been on the first shuttle out of here. Wow, cold-blooded. Hmm. You're free now, Romana. You can go with Hara. I have no desire to go with him. He means nothing to me. I'm really glad I didn't spend the credits on that. Hmm.
Uh, well, then you can do whatever you wish. You are free Twi'lek. Thank you. You've given me a new life, and that I am thankful for. And off she goes. No, Ramana. Don't leave. Please. I don't know whether to thank you or to strike you. I guess we'll just leave it at that. Onward! Light side points gained. Such a happy couple. And didn't have to spend any money on it either. That's good. However, we are not at the cantina again. How is it... I think we can use the quick transit now. Let's see. Transit to another module. Yes. We'll head to Entertainment Module 81. That's pretty cool. That's handy. And this is... The Cantina. So, not the end of the world. Mortilosians... Patron... Corin Fault. See if there's anyone else here. Look, they already got a replacement dancer, too. Don't bother me while I'm working. I get paid to dance, not to talk. Alright, what's your story? Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about Zerka? What's there to say? We're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel Station. Getting in early, as they say. If this whole Telos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Now, was Lorso the lady who we talked to on the comm? Telos thing. You mean the planet restoration? Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. How does Zerka profit from the restoration project? Quite a few ways. As part of the Republic contract rewarded for a planet like Telos, Zerka is allowed to use the planet's natural resources to help fund and support the project. On top of that, the Senate's easy to negotiate with. They're liberal with the amounts of credits they throw around, even with the Republic being in the shape it's in. And, of course, new planets mean new markets for Zerka products. All in all, a very good arrangement for us. Oh, I'm sure there's more going. There's more to it than that. Tell me about Lorso. Good, Jana Lorso. That woman's a... a f look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. Typical corporate politics. How do you think she'll mess up? She's got her hands in too many dirty little... <laughs> um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. Uh, I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. Interesting. Alright. So we know that, uh... She's into some shady business, which is not at all surprising. And I think that's everything that we need to do here. Now, we got a little bit of time, so we will head to the docking bay now, and maybe if we're quick, we can help out the Athorians, or at least check out what this area has for us. Shuttles everywhere. And we've got waiting areas. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. I met someone who managed to escape. He didn't even want to talk about it. So, bad stuff's going on Nar Shaddaa. Bad stuff seems to be happening all over the galaxy in this era. Surprised there are so many people traveling. With things being as dangerous as they are, I thought everyone would stay home. So you're Hobbit's errand boy, hmm? Um... I'm helping the Athorians, yes. So I heard. You should consider Zerka's offer. If you turn the droid to Executive Lorso, she'll pay you far better. It has nothing to do with the money. 
The planet, then? You don't really think those Athorians could do better than Zerka, do you? Actually, I do. You're a fool, then. I can tell you're too thick-headed to see through the lies you've told yourself, but if you have any doubt, talk to Jana Lorso at the Zerka offices in Residential 081. Let's go. Yeah, you guys go ahead and just get out of here. Alright. And we got an Athorian here. Let's go ahead and... Oh! Never mind. There's no, uh... Dock Lounge. Alright. This looks like a big place. Holy crap. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, Chodo Habat sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. Yes, he sent word ahead of you. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. Well, I kind of wanted to check the rest of this place, but... Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Airlock terminal. Open bay 2 door. Open the bay doors, Hal. Oh, we got lockers. I did not notice lockers. No lockers we can open, though, apparently. And we've got people with blasters. That's never a good sign. Oh, never mind. That's a TSF agent. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Would people stop saying that? Yes, we were all pleased to see you. Shoto Habat said that another would arrive to help us. We... Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Hello there, flunkies. Who are you? How did you get in here? Oh wow, there's not even a dialogue. We're just getting right to it. Alright, well then, um, eat a plasma grenade? Oh, that didn't really help you. Alright, critical strike. Alright, you then. Oh wow, they are all mixed up. It's alright. Oh, I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. An assassin's tool. It's no surprise that hired killers would carry weapons such as these. Looks as though the blaster has been heavily modified. Interesting. I believe you're correct, though I'm by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal on Citadel Station. Lieutenant Gren should be informed that he might conduct an investigation. But more importantly, he must take the droid back to Chodo Habat. I fear there may be more attacks if we do not see it quickly to safety. Yes, I'll get the droid back to the Athorians right away. Modified holdout blaster. Alright, good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and when we get back, we'll explore the rest of this place and make sure the droid gets back to the Athorians. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.